Barnes is we want to give educators, evaluators, people who work in special education, tools, ideas, real, you know, things that they can do to implement equity for our diverse students who are in special education programs or those who are being evaluated for special education programs but don't necessarily need to be there. Linguistic racism is the idea that people are treated differently based on the language or languages or the language varieties that they speak. So when we think about standardized American English, it's the dominant group, and I don't necessarily mean majority, but the group in power. So when people speak that language variety, they are seen as belonging to the group in power, and those who don't are seen as less of. We're looking at transforming our language. When you transform the way you speak or say things, it also transforms the way you think about things. And so the, the, the process of um, looking at, you know, biases and perceptions and stereotypes and prejudice is all also aligned with the words that you utilize. And so um, that being intentional of shifting your vocabulary will automatically shift your thought process in some settings. Teachers need to be familiar with those features of dialect so that they can interact with their students and that that miscommunication doesn't have to happen. Right. And we also have to get past using words like correct English or even standard English, because when we say standard English, there's a message behind that word standard because we say that the standard is this. I want all of the participants to walk away with like, what are things that I can do differently? What are things that in my day to day, I can make change? Anybody who studies language and is a linguist by um, training knows that no language in and of itself is superior to another. Education is the civil rights issue of our generation. And that is significantly important for uh, Black and Latinx and even Native, Native American populations. When we think about deficit views of children who are bilingual, it's often that they're seen as at risk, at risk for not doing as well when they enter an English dominant school system. This is what I think everyone in across our country needs to do right now is to yeah. stop and think about what are the things that we do? What are the things that we say? Mm -hmm. What are the little things that we can do to make a powerful impact right. in the self-esteem of our kids, in, in our equity in education? Right. I think that all of this leads to equity. If we're all doing these things, that we will make a difference in moving towards equity in our schools.